Gosh. This has been so hard. <laughs> because we're hiking the Seth to Balbona Trail through the valley today, and it's a one-way hike, so we aren't staying here tonight. We have another guest house set up once we get to our destination. The hike's probably gonna take us about eight hours. There's cafes along the way to stop at, and the views are gonna be gorgeous, so I'm sure we'll be taking our time. We're about to head out. We just need to pay our host. Don't forget, if you're coming to Theft, to bring enough luck because there are no ATMs up here. So we're walking to the church right now. We are actually meeting Thora, which is the girl who randomly started appearing in our videos yesterday. <laughs> I'm Thora. <She's> <laughs> we met her on the hike to the Blue Eye, and now we're gonna hike all the way to Valbona together. And we're gonna meet over there at that church. Thora is here, and we're gonna go find the trail because we have no idea where it is. We know what direction to go, but hopefully we'll start seeing some signs. These are the only markers, so if you see people hiking, try to follow them if you can. about 45 minutes to an hour and this is approximately where we started right there okay so I know the perspective is a little bit funny but this is what we just climbed up right here and then this is what we got to keep climbing can't imagine going down this I feel like I one fall and then you would just slide the rest of the way down <laughs> cafe along the way. There's apparently one every two to three hours. We are starving, so we're gonna go ahead and rest here, get some food, refresh. How you feeling, Thora? <laughs> Exhausted. <laughs> we're so tired already. We're done with the uphill. I mean, we don't know if the uphill is over, but we're done with it. <laughs> we are ready to be done with it. <laughs> yeah, 3,200 3, meters. No, eight feet. Yeah, I don't remember. A lot of people out on the trail today. There's just a cafe out in the middle of nowhere. There's so many people here. All right, so we're just having a little snack. Some potatoes, of course. We've already hit 11,000 steps for the day. We think we have about five, six more miles to go from here, so. Hopefully this holds us. It's rough because it's been about close to five miles so far, but it's five miles straight up. So the terrain hasn't really worked with, with us that well. The second half should be fairly decent downhill. So I think we're going to be all right. I definitely recommend a intermediate to higher level of fitness and to leave as much of your luggage behind in Skodra as you can and only pack the essentials so you're not having to carry it all the way through the pass. Okay, we're about to hit the trail. Unfortunately, we already see that it is going up. This cafe took us about three hours to get to, which was straight up all the way. And we think we've got another five hours to go. So uh, pray for us. Let's get it. <laughs> So hard. <laughs> We're finally to the top, so it should be downhill from here. I hope. Oh, we're not to the top. <laughs> There's a bit more. 
This is just never ending. <laughs>
and then to theft. I think the hike is a little bit easier going the reverse way. It's not as steep. There are some switchbacks on the side that you would be going up. The thing that we messed up was that our guest house in Valbona was so far away from the trailhead and we didn't have a ride so it added almost two hours basically. If you do start in Valbona you can get a ride to the trailhead from your accommodation so it doesn't really matter how far out you stay. It's super important because the hike is pretty grueling. It is rewarding. We don't regret doing it by any means, but it is really hard and just that last push along the road is pretty brutal. We actually hiked about 30 miles in two days. It's best to go to Valbona once you get to Teff, stay for three nights to give yourself a rest day in between hiking through the valley and then hiking the Blue Eye because those are both pretty long hikes. We mentioned this before, but pack light. You'll be regretting it by the first hour if you have a heavy pack. You really don't need a tour. You can do this all by yourself. Once you get to Skoder, just book everything through them. They know where you should stay. They can give you all the tickets there and back and it just makes everything a lot simpler and easier. Also like we promised before, at the end of this video we will give an entire cost breakdown of our trip from Toronto and then up to Teth and Valbona. Okay, so our ferry is here, we gotta go. got home finally that bus ride was pretty stressful it was like an hour and a half alongside a cliff with like a lake at the bottom pretty on bumpy. a road that wasn't paved very well <laughs> but we're back now we're gonna go get some dinner and kind of take it easy for the rest of the night but right after this we are going to show you the cost breakdown of our entire trip all right, this is our cost breakdown. We're gonna get right to it so we can keep it short and sweet. Okay, so night one, our accommodation in Toronto was $58.68. Which is kind of on the expensive side, but we booked last minute, so you can definitely get a lot cheaper than that, and that's also a private room in a hostel. The total cost for food in Toronto for the day was $21.89. After day one, we took a bus from Scanderbeck Square to the regional bus station, which cost us 78 cents, mm. from the bus terminal to Shkodra, which cost us $6.81 for two people. Our total amount for food for the day was $16.26. Accommodation in Shkodra for the night was $35. The van ride from Shkodra all the way up to Theth was about $12 per person, um, coming out to $24 for us. We stayed two nights at guest house Pashko, which came out to 78.76, and that included free breakfast for both of the days. We also spent another 46.74 for four dinners because you pay per person per dinner. We also spent $10.70, and that was for several Rockies, some beer, some cappuccinos. <laughs> Those will not be included in the price, no matter what guest house you stay in. Our french fry lunch cost us $3.89 on the hike. Our private room, private bathroom at guest house Mameti in Valbona was $42.54 for the night. Dinner at guest house Mameti for two people, it was $18.70. Also, we got a free breakfast at guest house Mameti as well. So The transport from Valbona back to Shkodra gets a little bit tricky. You take a bus to a ferry, then to another bus. Then finally, it'll be in Shkodro, which costs about $21 per person total. It'll be three different tickets, so prices will vary ticket to ticket, but approximately $21 per person. Which is obviously $42 for the both of us. 
So overall, our trip total came out to $407.60. If there's anything we didn't cover that you have questions on, just go ahead and leave a comment and check out our description below for all the details. Overall, this trip was super worth it. Go for it. Really inexpensive and we absolutely loved it. I don't know what else to say. I think that's good. Yeah.